Crazy when your dream is right in front of you I've been so caught up in day to day To me it's nothing new When did we get here and why didn't we celebrate it Think I learned that when I really make it I won't have to say it Think I learned that when I really make it I won't have to say it When I really make it I won't have to say it When I make it I won't have to say it What's going on guys? Marine here from Student Aesthetics. Welcome to a new vlog. As you can see, I'm back at home right now, back in my apartment. And the last vlog I showed you guys, I definitely ended in the Ziggo Dome at the return of Headhunters, which was an absolutely amazing night. Willem, I'm proud of you. You absolutely nailed it. And everybody that, that showed up there absolutely nailed it. Because um, that was actually what I thought the cool thing uh, was in the Ziggo Dome. And Willem sold it out in like 20 or 30 minutes. And the Ziggo Dome was freaking huge. This was the first time I was in the Ziggo but this is like 14,000 people in there. And the cool thing is that everybody really wanted to be there because it was sold out. So everybody wanted to see Willem for um, you know his comeback. And um, that's why I think the vibe and the atmosphere was just really amazing. And uh, Willem said it was the best day of his life as well. So um, I had a great freaking time, honestly. So shout out to everyone that showed up there. So now all that is done and now I'm here back at home. Vegas is done, LA is done, the partying is done. And now I'm just, you know, here in my apartment just wondering what I should do with my life. And I already found the answer. I'm gonna build some goddamn muscle. So I'm gonna take you guys through that process and we're gonna start that off in today's video. So during this bulk, I will still be tracking everything, including my weight every single morning. And that is one good thing about being back home is that I can stick to one skill. Because when you're traveling, it's always kind of hard. Because every skill always provides a little bit of a different weight. So that's why I always recommend sticking to one. And I don't really like traveling with a skill, bringing it with me, unless I would be gone for a long amount of time. Um, so I've been eyeballing it pretty much. But now I can finally stick to one skill. And I'm using the body analyzer, which I've been using for a while. It also tracks body fat percentage, which is not necessarily accurate. Um, it definitely is not but you can see whether you know the body fat goes down over the weeks or whether it goes up so I like to use it as an additional tracking tool um, the amount of weight on the scale will always be number one but then the body fat is just another way of tracking it next to you know seeing yourself in the mirror so this morning I weighed myself and the damage was not too bad after all those cheap meals we did in LA and stuff um, so that is all good so that is the starting point of this lean bulk um, and so we'll go from here and um, you know see that skill increase over the weeks so if you guys are interested in getting the same skill as I do a link will be in the description box down below and a discount code as well for you guys and so it does feel good to be back in my home office again because this is where I get most of my work done. I'm not gonna lie, when traveling on my laptop, it's different than this iMac, you know? Just walking in this room just gives me the, the grind vibe. It's just what it is. But anyway, so I'm working right now. I am still doing intermittent fasting, so I am having some black coffee. You know, intermittent fasting to me is not just a way to save calories for later at night and to make it easier to stick to my diet. That is a very big plus point. But another big and maybe the biggest plus point is work productivity and mental clearness and focus, uh, mental clarity. So I noticed that when I'm fasted, I get most of my work done. So that is why even during a bulking phase, I still like to do intermittent fasting. I may fast for a little less long uh, because I have to fit in more food in a certain time frame, and I don't want to eat like two huge meals. But since my calories will not get like very, very high, that'll probably not be an issue. Um, but we'll see that over time. For now, still good to go, still fasting until around you know two o'clock in the afternoon so for those that are wondering when are you going to travel again when is the next trip i don't have anything planned and that is because i personally chose not to i want to be settled home for at least a bit because i have to get a lot of stuff done well i don't have to i want to um, because i'm working on a lot of cool business projects which um, i can't tell you guys about yet but um, all I can say is that I'm gonna be here a lot, you know, and um, like I said, this office just really gives me the grind feel, just really makes me able to get a lot of work done. And when I'm traveling, that's always a little bit harder. So I wanna be based here for the majority of my time to work on some really cool stuff, which you guys will find out sooner or later. So I just went to the grocery store, pick up some foods. Uh, most of you guys have seen what I eat on a daily basis. It's pretty much always kind of the same. Some other foods that I may have got today. Oh, these, maybe. Like instead of usual rice cakes, some rice cakes with some chocolate on there. Like a lot higher in calories, 80 calories. But it like, where you got more calories to work with, 
you know, I have some enjoyable stuff. So this is something I never eat when I'm cutting, because I know myself. I actually did eat it during this cut. When I get very low on calories, I will not eat this, because it doesn't fill you up at all. It's way too good. You'll eat the whole package in like two days. And that's a fact, you can go around there. But um, when I'm bulking, I like to have it sometimes. Late night snack. This is a little bit of a better option in my opinion. Pure chocolate. This one has like six grams of fat, 75 grams of carbs, eight grams of protein. But that one is really good. Um, sweet potato fries. Favorite carb sources, one of them. Um, next to these foods, I obviously got more foods already in my house. This is just what I got right now at the grocery store. I uh, live a flexible lifestyle, so I eat flexible. I can pretty much fit in anything I want into my diet. But when I'm cutting, I like to, you know, stay a little bit away from more unhealthy foods to uh, make sure I don't overeat on calories or get hungry before I go to sleep. So that's kind of what I'm rolling with. I'm actually gonna have a meal right now. I had a meal a little bit earlier today, so this is gonna be second one. I'm gonna show you guys. So one of my favorite meals while bulking, I also like it while cutting, but it doesn't fill you up as well. It's just very, very easy to get those calories in. It's from uh, using tortillas as your carb source. That's uh, so what we got in here today, some beef strips. We got bell pepper, onion, some cheese, and we got a sauce on here. It's this uh, Nando Piri Piri sauce, lemon and herb. This one is decently low in calories, like one portion. It's freaking eight calories. That's almost like nothing. Um, but it tastes really good, so I like the roll with that. All right, so let's enjoy. All right, so it's a bit later right now, about to hit the gym, about 40 minutes from now, just having like a small carb snack before I hit it. Um, so this is cereal that I showed you earlier. So for those that are wondering what kind of calories and macros I'm currently on, and if I'm reverse dieting, because that's a question very often as well, because I just got from a cutting phase. Um, now last week I had a couple of cheat meals, so this week I kind of wanted to balance things out, and I personally never do reverse diets, but what I do do is I hop onto around maintenance calories, which is you're not in a caloric surplus, you're not in a deficit, so you're basically just cruising and your body will stay exactly the same with those amount of calories and I'll do that for about two weeks and see how my body responds if I actually you know gain weight or not you always gain a little bit of water weight and glycogen because you're eating more carbs you know when you increase your calories so I'm currently on about 3,000 calories a day which is kind of maintenance calories for me uh, 400 grams of carbs 180 grams of protein and 80 grams of fat so I'm gonna do this for about two weeks weigh myself every day, see how the skill changes, and then, you know, it'll probably be stable in about two weeks from now, and that's when I start increasing my calories, then I'll add about 200 calories, being a slight caloric surplus, and then uh, the gaining phase can start. So yeah, I'm gonna kill this, then head to the gym. I'm gonna see you guys there. Feels good to be back in the home gym, guys. Back in Nijmega Ultra Sport. Today is the start of a new routine, and this is a routine that I've done a lot in the past. I like to stick to a couple different routines uh, when I'm training, and I've told you guys that many times. If you've been following me throughout the years, but one of them is an upper lower routine, and I've actually shared this routine with you guys as well. So if you want to try it out yourself, a link will be in the description box down below. But that is what we're going to do today. We may do different exercises and amount of reps and stuff that are listed in the routine, but the basic principles are exactly the same. So it's basically two upper body workouts, two lower body workouts. One of those workouts will be focused towards strength, you know, building power, and one of the workouts will be focused towards hypertrophy, so building muscle. And that's what we're gonna do today. Hypertrophy, so it's gonna be about eight to 12 reps for most exercises, and then a little bit of isolation stuff, but 12 to 15. But um, as I said, everything will be switched by time. Below. We got the true YouTube live going on here. We have a vlog that is exporting because um, we have some issues with that. So we're doing it in the gym. So let's see how it's doing in between sets. I gotta actually watch the video. All right, so getting the upload going. I did not watch the full video yet, so I have no idea, but I trust Wyro. I've been working with him for some time now. After all these years. I trust the man, so I don't have to check it out. I just really scrolled through it, it looked epic. So um, we're uploading now, and now we're getting back to the sets. We didn't film any of the incline bench presses, maybe one, maybe the first set, because in between we were doing this whole upload thing and watching the video and everything. So right now we're gonna move over to the second exercise, which I'll show you guys. Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in 
the blue world And all day and all night And everything he sees is just blue Like him inside and outside Blue his house with the blue little window And a blue car wreck And everything is blue for him And himself and everybody around Cause he ain't got nobody So since I'm following an upper and lower routine, I'm only training four days a week. To some of you guys, this may not seem like that much, um, but from personal experience, I know it works very well for me. And I actually know that it doesn't matter that much for me whether I train you know, four, five, or six times a week. I will pretty much make the same amount of progress as long as I stick to the sessions. And you know, you will adjust your workout volume per day towards the weekly total, which is what all my routines are structured towards. Um, so one of the reasons I'm doing it four times a week now is so that I can actually increase over the months, all right? So I'm starting in bulking phase right now. I just came outside of a cutting phase, which means, you know, my body is not optimal as far as muscle building goes right now because I've been eating like lower calories, right? So I was only able to kind of maintain my muscle, I actually lost a little bit of muscle and strength as well at the end. So I'm trying to slowly build up an increase in workout volume again, because I actually drop workout volume during a cutting phase, right? Because the lower you're getting calories, you actually want to drop some sets here and there in order to keep up with the weights you're doing, right? So during a bulking phase, you actually want to add volume over time. So you want to do the opposite that you do during a cutting phase. So I may only start with four days a week, so that later in this bulking phase, I can increase to maybe five days a week. Um, personally, I don't really like training six days a week, but I may do so at the end of my bulking phase. So that's kind of my reasoning for it. And I personally really like an upper lower split, also because legs are kind of my lagging body part. Student aesthetics, you guys know what it is. Upper legs are actually pretty much, they are kind of how I want them to be. It's just the gas, but um, upper lower is, is amazing. A lot of rest, always properly recover for the next session. So anyway, we just finished chest. We did two exercises. Now we're moving on to back. Moving on to shoulders. Gonna start off with a compound, um, standing over a press with a dumbbell. Freaking love this movement, very good for the core as well. And uh, my stability is kind of messed up in my legs too, so I'm trying to work on that. So I love this exercise. And then we're gonna finish on the shoulders with some isolation and arms as well. Stan is slowly outgaining me. Boulder of oats. That's the goal. Boulder of <laughs> oats. Nice. Yeah, time for some poking games. Indeed. Let's do it. Gain, train on. So to work out really well, even though it was pretty much rushed with the whole YouTube struggle and everything. It's part of the game, um, so can't do anything about it. We had to upload that video. That messed a little bit with the workout, but afterwards still, uh, you know, smashed it. Having the extra calories in me definitely helps. And um, over the, you know, next coming weeks, I'm gradually gonna make strength gains. So I'm really excited for that. I'm tracking all my lifts into an app. It's called Rep Count. I'm doing that um, on my iPhone, all right? I don't believe you have the app on Android, so you may wanna do another app or, you know, just note them down or whatever, take your notebook. There are multiple ways you can go about it, but I highly recommend tracking your workouts because you wanna increase over time in order to build muscle, which is very, very important during a bulking phase, okay? So right now it's actually um, a bunch later. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm gonna finish off 
with my last meal because I haven't eaten anything after the workout. Um, so what I did in terms of work, uh, one of the things I did was a Facebook live stream, which I'm doing a lot more lately on Instagram as well. So make sure to give me a follow on Facebook. All those social media links are always in the description box down below. And I still got plenty of macros left for the day. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat, have a look at my fridge and everything, and then uh, I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna go for my pretty much standard late night snack, but I'm gonna bimp it up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how that is done. So we are still weighing everything out because I'm tracking everything into my fitness pal, which is what I do. So I put the skier in here, which is 450 grams of low fat yogurt. Now this has been my life hack lately for my yogurt meal and that's the chocolate protein balls from my protein. Macros are pretty solid, like six grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. This is already very high in proteins, so only do this when you still have proteins left, which I do today. Okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna add in some cinnamon, and another very important ingredient, and that is a stevia um, or sweetener of choice. This one is really good, so if you live in the Netherlands, try it out. Albert Heijn. Big shout out to Willem, aka DJ Headhunters, because he showed me this one, and it's really, really strong. So, and in a little bit, um, some people like it more sweet, some people less sweet. Willem likes it extremely freaking sweet. It's ridiculous, but I like it a little <laughs> sweet. Each to its own, and I'm adding in some cinnamon as well which is also a personal preference. We have the chocolate protein balls. This just makes the meal look more aesthetic as well. Which is obviously important. And then the final ingredient, the holy freaking grill right there. A little bit of this. This shit is freaking life. Um, so I still have plenty of macros left so I can easily fit some of this in. We'll do 40 grams. Whoa, the boy fucked up. Yeah, this is how we do it, man. The real life struggle. Um, 40. Perfect. Look at that. Bowl of gains right there. And I'm actually topping it off with some sugar-free maple syrup from my protein as well. This is also why I use a little bit less sweetener, because this is also pretty sweet. Man. Awesome. That's what I call proper late night snack when bulking. So for anyone that complains about low fat yogurt not being enjoyable, because I get that a lot, you know, well this is called like quark or whatever you want to call it, some people don't like it. Try it out with this, you know, use some toppings, use some cereal, throw some chocolate protein balls in there, maybe just regular chocolate. Uh, it depends on how many calories you have to work with and all that, but um, this is one of my staple meals. Um, during a bulking phase, I really like it. I've been eating these chocolate protein balls during my cut as well, but now with this cereal in there too. This is a cereal, it's called a uh, Cruisley. I don't know if that's an English word. So I'm about to kill this meal, go to sleep in about an hour, do some more work before, and then tomorrow, wake up again fresh, get a new day started. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first new bulking video. A lot more is coming. Like I said, a very instructional video on how to set up a bulk for yourself is dropping as well. So if you guys enjoyed the video and if you're excited for um, you know me bulking up and me just making new vlogs. If you're excited for life, then just give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.